Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Manchester United set to hold meeting to decide the future of Alejandro Garnacho at the club. Manchester United are set to hold a meeting with the agent of Alejandro Garnacho to decide the 18-year-old's future at the club, according to Fabrizio Romano. According to Fabrizio Romano on Kauf of Sight, after an impressive outing against Rayo Vallecano, the club are looking to discuss what is the best for the Argentinian's future, whether he stays or leaves on loan. The Red Devils also want to offer Garnacho a new contract to beat back interest from other clubs. The 18-year-old played over 70 minutes against the Spanish opposition and was excellent. Cristiano Ronaldo returned to the side in the friendly, but his future is still uncertain and United will decide on what to do with the Argentine youngster after resolving the issue with the Portuguese. Garnacho made his debut for the Red Devils at the end of last season against Chelsea. The 18-year-old also featured in the final game of the campaign against Crystal Palace. Before his first appearance for the senior side, plenty of fans already knew the Argentine's name due to his showing with the youth sides. His heroics in the under-18 team's FA Youth Cup triumph last season turned many heads. We have plenty of youngsters that have broken through during pre-season. Zidane Iqbal and Charlie Savage are the academy starlets who have shown what they are capable of. United's forward line was a bit underwhelming last season. Thus, Garnacho needs to be kept in the squad going into next season. Then, hopefully, the Argentine can step up and showcase his talent on the highest level. Fulham make offer for Man United defender Eric Bailly. Premier League newcomers Fulham are continuing their impressive summer transfer window. The newly promoted cottagers have already made three permanent signings, including attacking midfielder Andreas Pereira from Manchester United. And according to recent reports, the Londoners are targeting a second red double. That's according to Football Insider, who claims Marco Silva is keen to bring in defender Eric Bailly and has recently made the 20-time league winners an offer. Having been signed to United from Villarreal by former boss Jose Mourinho back in 2016, Bailly is one of the club's longest-serving senior first-team players. However, following a torrid run of injuries and fitness issues, the 28-year-old, also loved by fans, has barely featured. Last season saw Bailly make just three Premier League starts, and the recent arrival of Lisandro Martinez from Ajax is set to see the Ivoirian fall even further down the team's pecking order. Despite the African's contract not expiring until 2024, this summer is likely to see him offloaded, and also reportedly wanted at Roma by Mourinho again. Fulham have now emerged as a possible destination should the centre-back wish to continue in the Premier League. Man United defender Ethan Laird set to depart Old Trafford for English club. Manchester United are close to agreeing on a loan deal with Watford for 20-year-old right-back Ethan Laird. According to a recent tweet by transfer specialist and Kauf of Sight columnist Fabrizio Romano, the loan deal should be finalized this week, with Eric Ten Hag reportedly happy with the youngster's potential and attitude but feels he needs more game time. Fabrizio Romano tweeted, Manchester United and Watford are prepared to complete the agreement for Ethan Laird on loan, deal to be finalized this week. The 20-year-old academy graduate is yet to make his Premier League debut for the Red Devils and it looks like he will now have to wait longer. A move to Watford would be the right back's fourth loan move away from Old Trafford and his third championship club. The youngster started last season on loan to Swansea City before being recalled and joining Bournemouth in January for the remainder of the 21-22 campaign. However, the youngster struggled to make a big enough impact to establish himself as one of the cherries only making four starts. Diogo Dalot is expected to start next season as the first choice right back but will need to prove himself if he wishes to cement himself into the position. Another loan deal will be perfect for the youngster who can develop further with more game time before returning to making his first Premier League debut. Christian Eriksen hits back at critics over Bruno Fernandes' theory. Christian Eriksen has fired back at claims that he has got no chance of playing alongside Bruno Fernandes at Manchester United. The Danish playmaker arrived at Old Trafford earlier this summer on a free transfer having impressed with the Premier League rivals Brentford during the second half of last season. 
He bolsters the Red Devils midfield options following a summer of overhaul with Paul Pogba, Nemanja Matic and Juan Mata having all waved goodbye to the club over the past few months. Despite his arrival, Danny Murphy claimed that Eriksen could find himself behind Portuguese playmaker Bruno Fernandes in the pecking order at Old Trafford. He said, I think United are only going to play with one number 10. If you think you are going to get Eriksen and Fernandes in a midfield three and be able to compete with the best teams athletically and defensively, you have got no chance. He, Eriksen, will play his fair share of games because you do not have the same starting eleven every week. I think it's five substitutions this season as well, so there will be impacts of the bench. But he's not going to play ahead of Fernandez. Some people might prefer him to Fernandez, but his number do not suggest that he is at Fernandez level. Eriksen has now hit back at those suggestions, having revealed that a conversation with United boss Eric Ten Hag assured him of the role that he will play for the club during the current season. He said, Before I came, I spoke to Ten Hag about how he sees me as a player and where he sees me. He didn't mention any players, obviously. He puts the team out and picks who's going to start, and then from there, on you adapt to however you are playing with. I will be happy wherever I play. I've always been like that. I try to adapt to the position I'm playing in. Manchester United star Cristiano Ronaldo's agent trying everything possible to engineer a move away from Old Trafford. According to the Daily Mail, Cristiano Ronaldo's agent Jorge Mendes is still working to arrange a transfer for the Manchester United star this summer. The 37-year-old was linked with several clubs and it was claimed that he would not play a game for the Red Devils again. But the striker later went back to practice before making his preseason debut on Sunday against Rayo Vallecano. During the match against Rayo Vallecano, the former Juventus striker exhibited signs of irritation, including a shrug while Eric Ten Hag looked to be giving tactical instructions. Also, this was his first preseason game. He was decent up front as he wasted a clear opportunity in the first half. He was even seen leaving the stadium well before the match concluded at Old Trafford. The new season is slated to begin this weekend against Brighton and Hove Albion, but the 37-year-old's future is still uncertain. The superstar has been linked to a number of clubs and Mendes is still searching for a potential suitor. As per the reports, Ronaldo is apparently eager to play Champions League football and the agent will do whatever he can to facilitate a transfer. However, the Red Devils have moved away from giving the striker their green signal for a move as Ten Hag wants to keep him in his plans for next season. The Portuguese striker is still under contract at Old Trafford until 2023 and the club continues to declare that he's not for sale. A decision should be made before the transfer window shuts close as keeping the issue unsolved would do no good for either the player or the manager. As things stand, Numerous elite clubs have already rejected Jorge Mendes' proposal for his client and with a lack of suitors, it would be difficult for the striker to engineer a move away from Old Trafford. It remains to be seen whether the club would be able to conclude anything positive from this entire transfer saga surrounding the star striker. Manchester United set to pull out of race for Anthony. According to Manchester Evening News, Manchester United are set to pull out of the race for talented Brazilian winger Anthony from Ajax after failing with an improved second bid. It's no secret that Manchester United have been interested in signing the talented Brazilian from the Amsterdam club this season. However, a move for the player has not materialized at least until now. The Red Devils apparently had an initial £50 million offer turned down by Ajax and an improved bid failed to match the £67 million valuation that the air devices are demanding for the player. Anthony joined Ajax from Sao Paulo in 2020 and has since then gone on to become one of the best young wingers in Europe. A hugely talented prospect, it's only a matter of time before the Brazilian moves to a top club. In his two seasons at Amsterdam with Eric Ten Hag as his manager, Anthony improved lips and bounds throughout his time under the Dutch tactician and he's only set to keep getting better as years go on in his career. 
it's no surprise thus that Eric Ten Hag wanted to bring the Brazilian along with him to Old Trafford this summer and he will undoubtedly be a great addition for the Red Devils despite their plethora of attacking options. However, considering the asking price that Ajax are demanding for their prized asset, it doesn't make sense for the Red Devils to invest so much in a position where they already have enough options to sustain. Midfield is an area where Man United is not necessarily well staffed in and could do with a lot of reinforcement. They need quality players to play there and the money must be invested towards improving that. With the season set to begin and our effort getting us nowhere, Anthony can wait. It remains to be seen if we will rekindle our interest in the 2023 January window and beyond. Manchester United set up talks for Chelsea target Benjamin Sesko. According to Adiarios via Center Devils, Manchester United are stepping up talks for talented Slovenian striker Benjamin Sesko from RB Salzburg following interest from Premier League rivals Chelsea. Man United's interest in the player has been prevalent for quite some time now, with the talented striker linked with a move to Old Trafford. However, it seemed until now that the Austrian club will not sell their star man this summer. However, things could be set to change in the Sesco saga, with it emerging that Chelsea are also really interested in the 19-year-old striker and want to beat Manchester United and bring him to Stamford Bridge this season. The teenage sensation joined Salzburg from NK Domzeil in 2019 and has since then gone on to become one of the most exciting striker prospects in world football. He's very highly rated and could be set for a big transfer very soon. It's not surprising that a striker coming out of Salzburg is gathering so much attention in world football. Sesco is following the footsteps of Erling Holland and Karim Adimi and becoming the next big thing coming from the Austrian club. The numbers that Sesco is putting up at just 19 is not normal and shows the immense potential that the teenage starlet possesses. In 36 matches last season, the Salzburg striker scored 10 goals and provided 7 assists across all competitions. With the Cristiano Ronaldo's future at the club far from certain, Man United are right in looking for a striker. Sesco is still very young and is far from the finished product. It's unreasonable to expect him to come and lead the Red Devils front line immediately and he must be eased into the setup and made comfortable with English football. For all this to happen though, we must beat Chelsea to the signature of the player and also convince the Austrian club to sell their prized asset. Manchester United have alternatives to Frankie de Jong, but the Dutchman is their priority. Manchester United do have alternatives line up in case they missed out on Frankie de Jong but the Barcelona midfielder is their number one priority. The De Jong to Manchester United saga has been ongoing for some time now. Eric Ten Hag worked with De Jong during his time at Ajax and improving United's midfield could be a priority this summer. Not only is a midfielder a priority for Ten Hag, but De Jong specifically, according to Fabrizio Romano, speaking exclusively to Kauf offside in his column on Substack. However, De Jong is still trying to stay at Barcelona and with Manchester United yet to convince the Dutch international to move to England, they do have two alternatives lined up. Ruben Neves and Yuri Tielemans are still on Manchester United's list if they fail to sign De Jong, but they could miss out on the Premier League deal as they continue to wait for De Jong to make a decision. United may have to eventually end their pursuit of De Jong if he continues to insist on staying at Barcelona or they risk missing out on further targets who could move to another club during the transfer window. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.